Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see all the cards that my collaborators created this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what my collaborators have created using the newest sheet load of cards. Sometimes this is a recap for you, other times this is inspiration for you to go check out an individual channel or Instagram account for more information. Now, if you do just want to see everybody's videos and posts, I have a link to the Collaboration Team playlist here on YouTube and their hashtag over on Instagram down in that description box below. Also down in the description box is a link to the subscriber hashtag here on YouTube and over on Instagram. So you can go see what other viewers are creating with the April 2023 sheet load of cards as well. I know that everybody would love for you to stop by, see what they've created and leave them some love. This month's sheet load of cards, April 2023, is a special edition in a couple of ways. We use our 6x6 paper and you don't have any scraps of that pattern paper left over. If you follow the supply list and the cutting guides, you're going to get six cards. Now, if you haven't yet downloaded the free printable or saw how I made my first set, I have the debut and the process videos also linked down in that description box. Over here on the right is the first set of cards I made this month. I used the adorable cat stamp set that my friend Danny gifted me from Craft and Kimmy. And I just love how it went with the little papers I used. Again, you can get more details on the supplies and the cards in that process video. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the team created this month. Before we take a look at their cards, I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to my newest paper trimmer level members, Connie Olshafer and Kat Grubb. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. You keep me creating here on YouTube and Sheetload of Cards free for all. If you're interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Up first today is Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy over on Instagram. For her six cards, she has created three with a pink palette and three with a blue palette. Love the papers and those metallic die cuts. Toby of the Bitty Penny channel here on YouTube has once again altered hers to fit 5x7 card bases. I love the fun mason jars and getting to see her paint those and how she has used some pattern paper for her background mat. Yvette of the Yvette Olea Creates YouTube channel has me excited for summer. I love the fun kind of pool party papers and those cute little bikinis with matching sentiments. Let me know in the comment section below if you're ready for some warmer weather too. Amalia of the Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia YouTube channel has created another fun set this month. I like how she used pattern paper for the base of her butterfly die cut and that fun shaped corners on all the cards. Ashley of the Mint Twist Cards YouTube channel has used the April 2023 sheet load to make a sheet load of cards. Her video tells you how she made over 50 cards with this fun nautical theme. I love the red, white, and blue and how there's just that touch of floral. Barbara, who is at one busy bee over on Instagram, has created a set of beautiful Easter cards this month. I love that floral focal point and how her pattern papers, both pieces are the same. 
Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube has also created some extra cards using this month's sketch. I love the pink and blue paper, the cute little bunnies, and how she has added the little navy blue flag and an extra mat behind her pattern papers. In her video, Carmen of the Choose Joy with Carmen YouTube channel shared how she tweaked the sketch and supply list just a little bit to create more cards as well and keep the same patterns in the same place throughout all of the cards. Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea YouTube channel used the cutting guides per the instructions, but I love how she has changed it up a bit to have those pattern papers be wonky on her background mat. So fun. I might have done a little squeal out loud when I saw Danny's cards, who shares hers over on Instagram as at Danny's Dreams. I love the adorable chicken, the sentiment is perfect, and also that chicken wire pattern paper. Karen Aiken has once again made a wonderful set of birthday cards using the latest sheet load. I love those pattern papers, the kind of geometric and the plaid on them, and the fun focal point ice cream cone. Karen of the Karen's Crafting Company YouTube channel has created a set of six beautiful butterfly cards. Loving those pattern papers and the metallic butterfly die cuts. Lisa, who shares on Instagram as at Scrapbook Girl, has created such a fun set of birthday cards. I love the little pogo sticking giraffe and that fun sentiment to go with it. Mariah, who is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs over on Instagram, created a fun set of Easter cards this month. I really like how she has added the extra pattern paper for the matting and for her sentiment strip. Noemi, who shares over on Instagram as at AZ Crafty, created a set of birthday cards this month. I love the fun papers and that wonderful focal point with the die cut and the shadow and the banner. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of those cards here together. If this is one of your favorite videos of the month, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to visit those links in the description box below to get more details. And until next time, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.